welcome back to my channel. I'm still in Turkey for my training camp. And I thought I would do a little video of showing you what I eat on a normal day at a training camp here in Turkey. Because sometimes it can be difficult to mimic what I have at home because obviously I can't go and have normal British food. I can't cook for myself because I'm staying in a hotel. Anyway, first thing I do every single morning is down as much water as I can. I say down, much as water. I try and have at least one glass, maybe two glasses of water. Sorry, that was gross, that was gross, that was gross. That was a lot of water all in man. I've got two training sessions today and before breakfast, well, we go straight to the training after breakfast. So I need to get my recovery ready first to have right away after, because you have 20 grams of protein within 20 minutes. I also take away little Tupperware containers with me because <coughs> I'm organized like that. Um, so I put in one scoop of bulk powders, creatine. In it goes, making lots of mess. And I also put in one scoop of informed whey. I have chocolate hazelnut biscuit with me and caramel latte. I'm gonna go for caramel latte this morning. And that is just getting changed in the background. So a scoop of caramel latte, in it goes. And that just goes into my bag for post-training. Lid goes on. So that's my protein recovery for after. That's time for breakfast. Blah, 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 blah. I'm downstairs on the breakfast, thinking my Bobby. You know, most Brits make a pot of tea. I'm gonna make a little pot of coffee. So I don't have to go up more than once because I'm gonna have like, two cups of coffee for me and Matty. And we have an extra one to split between us because we're cute like that. But yeah, so I'm making a pot of coffee. Just tastes good up and down. Straight up black Americano. There are literally so many choices of what you can eat here because, you know, at a restaurant buffet, sometimes you get carried away and yes, there's all different kinds of eggs, there's all different kinds of fruits, there's different kinds of breads and hams and meats and cereals and fruit and all kinds of stuff. So what I try to do is keep it as similar as possible. And yes, I normally have porridge, but there's like a whole big thing in the teller here that obviously I want to stuff into my porridge, but I'm not gonna. Hello, Yona. Team Jamaica is here as well. Singular, singular Team Jamaica is here. So I'm gonna go for something I would normally have, which is first course would be porridge with a little bit of maple syrup. There, go get in some porridge. It's really awkward eating on camera, so. In addition to porridge, because sometimes you don't know how the eggs are cooked, you don't know how much milk they put in it, how much butter, how much cream, all that kind of stuff. I asked for an omelet. So you cook it for years. I've got mushroom, tomato, onion, omelet, no cheese, no ham, minimal oil. Here's my omelet. What I really want to be eating is that croissant there, but that one's for Mr. Robbie, isn't it? You enjoying that? Oh, I think he's pooping. Okay. After breakfast, first session of the day, we have some gymnastics. Matty Lee strolling in with his fanny on show. So yeah, we're gonna do some tumbly, spinny, roundy, roundy, up and downy, twisty, turny stuff. Enjoy. session 
done this morning. So we did the gymnastics and we did the diving. So now it's really important to get the recovery in. So protein that I made earlier, well I didn't make it earlier obviously, but just adding some water to it. Caramel latte flavor, you know, you know what I mean, I like coffee. This has got 20 grams of protein in it. Gives me that instant recovery because I've got to get ready to repair and regrow for, for training later because we've got about a three hour break now. So after that three hour session, three hour break, including lunch, and then we're gonna have another training session, which is gonna be actually strength and conditioning, weights and all that kind of stuff, so I need to make sure I'm getting ready. Mm. Caramel latte is definitely one of my favorite bulk powder flavors too, because it actually genuinely tastes like a caramel latte. One tip, if you have time to make it at home with ice and blend it, oh, it tastes like a frappuccino. So now it's lunchtime. I went up and got some chicken, some roasted veggies, some stuffed courgette, some grouper fish. We got some broccoli, rice, sweet corn, and salad. So oh, lots of different things. Trying to make my plate as colourful as possible. Trying to get my protein and my carbohydrates ready to go again a little bit later on. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck into my luncheon. Now in the room between training sessions, Matty's watching our trying Turkish treats video on YouTube. It seems one amazing thing that they have in this hotel is that you get a free chocolate bar every single day. But because we are good Samaritans, Matty and I, we like to share. So the way that we split this up throughout the day is we both have one chunk after first training and then we have one more chunk after dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my first chunk. Now, to make these chunks last longer, I wanna show you what I do. So, looks like this, right? Chocolate square. Bite the corners off, and eat it normally. And then you're left with this lovely shell that's filled with chocolate hazelnut praline. And I just put it in my mouth and give it a good old suck. Why? What? <laughs> Sorry, continue a second. In this second, well, like instead of Chewing it, I'm gonna suck it. So it lasts longer, right? You don't wanna use, you don't wanna use your teeth. You just wanna, you know, keep it in your mouth for as long as possible, and then it all melts and all is good and everyone's happy. Come on, focus then. Oh no. Still again. Mm, still sucking. So we just finished resting. I want to a cheeky chocolate bar. Probably gave me that spot. That's why. Wait, haven't you got any fish as well? Is that mom? Is that mom? Oh uh, yeah, I did know that I had a mole there. Anyway, so just before we start our weight training, we have uh, ordered coffees. I've ordered an Americano. Normally I have a filter coffee at home, but you know, black coffee is a black coffee. One singular ice cube added into it, so it's not too hot, so I can drink it right away. And Matty, what have you ordered? A double shot cappuccino. Yeah. So we're gonna have that, and then we're gonna get lifting weights. Oh, cheers. Oh, it's strong, let's rocket fuel this one. So just finished our weight session, and in between the weights in the pool, we got me macro munch, and we got protein, carbohydrate, the mixture to be able to cover properly, get maximal gains, and all that. <laughs> and this one is the best flavor too because it's got caramel and crunchy bits of caramel on top too. It's like you're eating an actual chocolate bar, but you're not. You know what I mean? Gonna go get in the pool now, do some flips. So now that we've finished the pool session, we are going into the sauna for some recovery. So we're gonna do sauna and then like a bucket plunge thing. So we're gonna do like 10 minutes, couple of plunges, 10 minutes, couple of plunges, and then time for dinner. So that was a sauna, now it's time for a dunk. Oh my God, I look all swollen, puffy and horrible. I'm gonna let you sit here in the corner and watch me get dunked by a bucket. So for the last meal of the day before Robbie screams and wants my camera. Chickpea salad, some chicken, rice, we got some yeah, ben chicken and vegetable sauce, and some grilled veggies, guacamole, beans, artichokes, and just a plate full of rainbow veggies. Robbie himself has got had some orzo rice. So dinner's been done and it's now time to have my second piece of chocolate. 
Mm, what about mm, all mm. that dessert you had? What dessert I had? Uh, joking. This kid. What's he talking about? One thing I do every night before I go to bed, especially after a long training day, inform casein, bulk powders, double chocolate. I make myself a lovely little hot chocolate with it. When I'm, aware, when I'm at home, I normally make it with milk, but out here, I shake it with some cold water, then add some boiled water to make it like a hot chocolatey treat, and it's gonna be good. So, I'm gonna make that now. Ooh. Ooh. Right, I'm making Matty one as well, because he likes the casing. It's all right. Tuck the ball in, put the lid on. Oh, oh you're joking. <gasps> Oh, that's all the manky casing that's been in there. Oh, I dropped it and it's come all, all come out. Right, hold on. One tip I would say when you're making a casing or any kind of hot chocolate in a shaker, do not put hot water in your shaker. Because if you put hot water in your shaker, it all expands and goes and shakes everywhere. So make it initially with cold water and then put it in a microwave if you've got one. But if you can't do that, then do it with as little cold water as you can and then put the hot water in afterwards and just stir it in. Get the lumps out! Right, I think that's good. Casein is the last thing I'm gonna have tonight before bed. That is what I eat in a day on a training camp here in Turkey. So I hope you enjoyed this video, got a little insight into what I actually eat. Obviously it's different every day because the buffet is different, but in terms of the supplements and recovery and things like that, that pretty much stays the same. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little bit about what I'm up to. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and uh, see you in the next video. Now I'm gonna eat the camera. Oh.